guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Zana, as you already know. to be talking about a topic that is actually a big issue in South Africa which is unemployment. I'm just gonna be talking about my experience as being unemployed and how it has been for me and how it affected me. Also the things that you can do and I also do to keep away the depression of being unemployed. Most of our of our lives we think to ourselves we're gonna go to school and finish school and after school we're just gonna go straight to being employees. We're gonna go straight to uh, a workspace and get a job. In most cases that does not really happen. It doesn't work like that. It happens to other people but other people it does not and other people's time frame is also not the same as your time frame. The first job that I ever had in my life was working as a receiving clerk at a recycling company in Boxburg. And it was not really easy, but it, I can't say it was like, oh my god, this is so hard, I don't know what to do in my life. Uh. For the first time, really, having a job is like, oh, okay, this is what you deal with. But it was it was challenging at the same time, it was very helpful. And also, because I'm, I'm in the accounting sphere, so it was just better in that way. Because I got to learn a lot of things, like making invoices and all of that, and issuing whatever that I had to be issuing. And also, uh, it was in a form of bookkeeping, really. The struggle of going to work in the morning you know it's a very something else but uh it's just the thing of you when you're driven you know when you just uh, i just want to do something with my life and i want to test things and see how they work out for me i had a job from october last year until september this year a friend of mine hooked me up shout out girl i was working at a retail store and i was a cashier there if you want me to tell what happened for me to be dismissed at work then you can load up the comments or the comment section below and let me know if you want me to if you want to see the video on how i got dismissed at work the treatment at work was very terrible and it was also just not easy working and also uh having to school at the same time although most things were online but you know having to write at a certain day and and you just don't have enough days to study for um whatever that you'll be writing oh, i lost my job at, at september so i've been unemployed since and i'm just thinking to myself guys we really need to give unemployed people hugs because it's not easy imagine people have been unemployed for the for almost like a year or two years it's, it must be difficult it must be hard uh, I can tell, I can see for myself because I'm experiencing this on a daily basis and it's just not an easy thing. Not having a source of income or whatsoever. My fellow graduates, unemployed graduates, I know it's hard. I know it's very hard, guys. And you keep on applying and you keep on applying and you keep on applying and nothing comes up. They don't even call you for an interview. They don't even say that they've seen your CV. If there's anything that is more stressful, it's just always applying. They want experience. They want cover letters. They want this and that. You know what I'm trying to say? You have to provide this and that. And you just, they're like, oh my God, where am I going to get the experience of two years just to be an accountant? I don't have it, you know? And you just sit there and you think to yourself, I'd rather just go back to school and, um, continue with my qualification or start a new qualification or from afresh because honestly this thing is not working for me and you know i'm just unemployed i am bored i am depressed i just got anxiety too and you know what no one is calling me and be like okay let's let's do this instead some of your friends they work they have jobs and others they just got internships and you know and you are just sitting there like Is it me? Is this happening to me only or what? Because people are doing something with their lives except for me. Uh, am I not following the right purpose? What is happening with my life? You mostly hear people saying that um, um, you just need to find a hobby. You know, something that you, you like to do and follow that. And one day it's going to be the one that pays you back. Because you're following your passion. You're thinking, um, what is my purpose in life? And defining your purpose may be really, really hard right because our purpose is not our problem right i think that's the most re the reason why we thinking to ourselves oh my god i don't have a purpose in life i don't have a job i i'm not intrigued by anything i don't like to do anything i guess a purpose is something that you define when 
you you look back and you see what you've done and what you've been doing and then and now you can connect the dots going forward and you be like oh i guess my purpose is this and that and if you're just that person who likes to talk to people a lot and likes to listen to what people have to say you just maybe my purpose is actually listening to people as time proceeds everything aligns in accordance i'm just going to talk about about uh, that in another video if if you guys support that i don't think that i'm antisocial really but i connect with certain people it's not everybody that i connect to so for me it's not easy to just go out and be in the street with other people like that it's better to have people right when you're unemployed so that you have people to talk to for me, I'm really grateful to have the people that I have in my circle, and my friends, because they call me most of the time and I'm always on the phone. So for me, it just helps me not to overthink about a lot of things and stuff. Overthinking is not really good, but also sometimes I feel like it's good because that's the only way you can think about your problems and try to solve them at the same time. Other friends of mine, they live around, but it's just I don't get the time to meet up with them because they're either busy doing something or... You know because most of them they do have jobs and they work now that other people work and i don't work it's just their time has come and also my time has um is coming as well and waiting is just not an easy thing honestly but uh, it's doable what is important is that you just keep on keeping on you don't have anything else there are certain people that i i know myself people who god bless them with a nice job like a very good paying job in a very conducive environment like how we pray for our jobs to be like and these people they play around around with their jobs that maybe maybe something that god is trying to avoid with us as well and imagine you know that's why most, in most cases you find people who abuse power whenever you cry to god and you ask for something he just he gives you something he wants you to see something different that is way better than what you think is better you know, I'm not saying a job is not better, but as for me, I've been realizing that I have so much skills, I have so much potential, I have my purpose, my purpose is this and that. I may not know where it leads to and where it goes to, but I know that there is something in me and whatever that God has planted in me is there forever and is there not for me as uh, alone by myself, but it's also for other people because I realize that. Uh, we are not created for ourselves we are created for other people when you realize that you're just there like okay so what is it that got that you trying to teach me now about the situation that you've put me through there is no point in rushing something and you find out that whatever that you were rushing for has no failure another thing that actually has helped me is uh, my friends and i we created a group and we just praying for each other and praying for our specific issue which is unemployment and it actually has helped me a lot and it has helped me a lot in a way that I now I'm able to um, connect with God more and find myself in God because you know you get to realize that actually a job is not only the problem that you're facing in your life other aspects in your life that are actually an issue your relationships and now that you're in a state a more stress is being added so it's just jinxing up your mental state and your mental health basically at the same time so for me it was just really really difficult honestly because now you just realize that you have unhealed childhood trauma you have this and that you have this and that and ngapa you're broke you get what i'm trying to say because i mean honestly they say money cannot buy happiness but wow 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 are we supposed to know what we're doing in this life like are we really really supposed to know and you just realize that actually 99 percent of the time people don't even know what they're doing but they are doing it you get what i'm trying to say it's just that the thing the the push right so the push comes from what are you doing it for it, it's so hard being unemployed and you have to sleep and wake up and do the same thing the depression was really starting to sink in and i realized that this thing is it's just it's crazy you just have to start to be productive Right? You need to start being productive. And I really did not know how to do that. I woke up in the morning and I realized that I need to create some sort of a schedule for myself. What should I do on the next day? So I joined down everything that I wanted to do on the following day and created a fixed routine. I'm talking about a fixed routine. Other things that like painting walls or 
whatever doing spring cleaning you cannot do spring cleaning on a daily basis it's just gonna be on that specific day also something that has been so difficult to learn and understand is you don't have to have it all figured out you don't have to be in control over things only god has control over everything and things you get what i'm trying to say the moment that you let go and let god that's when things try to unravel for you being broke is a problem because you cannot do anything when you don't have money so i started a business um just try to get some sense here and there so the shades that i actually i have been selling right and the response is actually has been amazing right i really did not expect people to be buying shades from me or shades because i always try to run away from uh selling things to people because i'm not really good at persuading people and i don't like to be persuading people i look like a diamond in the sky maybe i'll just shoot the video like wearing shades entirely since i've started it actually hasn't been bad and i've been getting this money although i've been chowing it because obviously i needed to to finance my stuff i just want to say thank you to everybody that has supported me on this business and those that don't know i sell shades the best time for best things to come out is when you are at your lowest that's when most things that are good come out you don't realize how much strength you have until you are at your lowest for whatever reason the way that i look at it i'm thinking to myself that god takes you and puts you in a box in a certain space and he wants you to not not that he's not giving you a job because whatever you probably may be not ready for the job at that specific time and also there are certain things and certain issues that you have to sort with, solve within yourself in order for him to give you out to the world Honestly, your purpose is not your problem. Whatever that comes to your mind and what God placed in your heart potentially becomes your purpose. You need to run with it and see what comes out of it. You might be sleeping on yourself. And I think it's the only the only way that you can find your purpose is just praying to God and asking him to redirect you to your purpose and help you find out what your purpose is. Because we are all called for different things and for different purposes and our main data are also different. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe for more videos. And also if you have tips to share with us on how to cope with unemployment, please share on the comment section below. And also if you have connections, please connect us as well. Also check down below the links that I use to apply for job vacancies. Let's connect each other and see what we come up with.